What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, cup through side to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with us. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no midmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I do. Okay, so I received another channel again, so we're going to do it. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. So one may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug the message or messages in your own particular story and situation, however they resonate and apply for you. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, a younger Cancer masculine, a younger Scorpio masculine, and a younger Gemini masculine is about to find out through many shocking series of chain of events, paternity testing energy, that they are not the father. They are about to take huge action soon and quickly. Um, these energies already suspected they were not the father. And then it was like 45 seconds to a minute after that, I heard, um, however, an older air sign masculine has, um, uh, has thought for years and years and years and years and years that he was not the father, but he really is the father. And he's about to find out through many shocking series of chain of events. So you plug it in, how it resonates. And it is about to shoot him in the foot in a huge way. This older air sign masculine. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so we got two scenarios going on here. We've got three younger energies. Uh, younger, I deem, is like 35 or below. Um, you know, 36, 35 or below. Um, that's what I deem in the, as younger. But you plug these ages in how they resonate it could, it could be you or it could be somebody you're connected to but we've got a younger scorpio masculine younger gemini masculine and younger um cancer masculine they could have cancer scorpio or gemini in their sun moon rising venus or feminine hand but your charts i'm feeling they're 36 or 35 or below or something of that nature you plug it in how it resonates but they're about to find out they're not the father through paternity testing so they're about to get paternity testing done um I don't know if this is court-ordered paternity testing or they're just going to take it upon themselves to paternity test. I mean, I don't know. I'm not these people. You plug it in how it resonates. But I heard they've already intuitively felt they were not the father, whoever these people are. So I feel for some of you guys, you might be these people that have intuitively felt you're not the father of the child, whoever you are and how this applies. Younger Cancer masculine, younger Gemini masculine, younger Scorpio masculine. But it's coming up, upcoming through paternity testing, whether it's court ordered or not court ordered. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? That's for at least three of you guys out in the universe or three people you guys know. Younger Scorpio masculine, young, younger Gemini masculine, younger Cancer masculine. They could have Scorpio, Gemini, or Cancer in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Feminine, Amber, Jupiter, charts. That's situation one. Situation two, there is an older air sign masculine that basically, I heard he has, uh, he has thought he was not the father for a long time. But through many shocking series of chain events, he's about to find out the father. He is the father. So I don't know. I didn't hear paternity testing over here. But somehow he's about to find out he really is the father. Um, I heard he thought for years he wasn't. Um, but he is. And he's about to find out he is. So whoever this older air sign masculine is, I think he could be 35, 36 or above. He could have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in a sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine energy for charts. You plug that in, how that resonates. Okay, I feel guided to get energy.
This older air sign masculine had no reason to believe he wasn't the father. He wanted to believe he wasn't. It's about to start giving him severe mental health issues. Severe. He already has mental health issues. Oh, Lord. Okay, I heard... Um, okay, so situation two. This older air sign masculine. I heard he's believed for years that he wasn't the father, but I heard there was no reason for him to believe he wasn't the father, but yet he believed he was. I heard he has, he has some kind of mental health issues, so I don't know what that is. I didn't hear specifically what that is. If you are this person or you are connected to this person, you have to plug this person in how they resonate. But um, but I heard um, they are the father. They are the father. and They're about to find out they are the father. Now, I don't know how they're about to find this out. I don't know if this is through paternity testing as well or something else. But how this resonates, they are about to find out for sure they are the father. Um, I heard they wanted to believe they wasn't the father, but they are. Um, I heard it's about to start giving them severe mental health issues. I guess once they completely confirm and find out they are the father of this child or children. Um, but I heard they wanted to believe for years they wasn't. But yet they are. So why they wanted to believe for years they wasn't the father, I don't know. I'm not this person. You have to plug this person in how they resonate. Spirit messages here. I feel like it. And a pregnant Sagittarius feminine is very significant in here for one of these people. And a pregnant Sagittarius feminine is very significant to one of these people. Currently pregnant. And a currently pregnant Sagittarius feminine is very significant to one of these people. So, one of these people, um, we got Goddess of the Moon reverse. A currently um, pregnant Sagittarius femme is about to become very significant to one of these people. So, it could be the younger Cancer masculine, the younger Gemini masculine, or the older, I mean, or the younger Scorpio masculine, or the older. Air sign masculine, Gemini Libra Aquarius masculine, older, but some kind of some pregnant, a, pre, a currently pregnant in the energetic space right now, Sagittarius feminine is about to become very significant to one of these people. How that resonates and applies, okay? Number fifty-two or fifteen could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 50, 52 or fifteen, it could be a possible age of um, one of these people, or you or somebody you're connected to um, or any other significant number of one's life number 52 number 15 could be a possible age of one of these uh, children connected to these people well, maybe to this person or to somebody else or any other significant number of one's life 52 15. goddess of the moon reversed Intuition was very off with these younger energies, masculine energies in the past. But they're about to learn the truth. Okay, I heard intuition was way off with these younger energies in the past, but they're about to learn the truth. So they, their intuition was low, was off. Um, I heard earlier in here that they suspected they were. The, they wasn't the father. But I don't think it's the suspecting that they wasn't the father. I think the intuition was low and off point was the fact that they probably kept getting drug into the relationship with whoever they're in the relationship with that was making them believe they were the baby's father. That's what I think. Because I heard their intuition was low, but it wasn't because they didn't suspect they wasn't the father because they, they have. Um, I think that's what's about to prompt the paternity test. I think the intuition was low was they kept getting sucked in with this relationship with this person they're in. Sucked in, sucked in, sucked in, sucked in. So they wanted to believe the best in the person that they were with, but yet they still had an inkling that they wasn't the baby's father. But I heard they're about to learn the truth, i.e. they're not the father with this paternity testing. So it's goddess of the moon reverse. So goddess of the moon reverse is basically intuitions off or a secret's out. In this case, the paternity testing, the secret's about to be out. The, they're, they're about to find out they're not the father. So, I mean, 
I, this is like some Jerry Springer crap. And I'm just being for real. Lord have mercy. This is yikes. But yet this person, their intuition was off. This older air sign masculine. I heard they wanted to believe they wasn't the father. But yet they are. So their intuition's been off the whole time because they wanted, they were like tricking themselves, mind tricking themselves to believe they wasn't the father for some reason. But yet they are. So you plug it in how it resonates. And secrets about to be revealed on that, that they are the father. And I heard it's going to give them more severe mental health issues. More severe. And they already have some kind of history of some kind of mental health issue or issues. Diagnosis or diagnosis. You plug it in, how it resonates. Appreciation. Once these younger masculine energies get the testing back and it is confirmed, they're going to show their appreciation in a huge way to a feminine psychic. A huge way. Well, that's beautiful. I heard once these people get the um, confirmation back that they're not the father, basically, uh, that they're for sure, for sure not the father, that they're going to, through many series of shame events, show appreciation to a feminine psychic. So I think um, the fem psychic is about to um, help. I think they're about to help them. Um, give them some kind of intuitive spike that, hey, uh, or confirmation or something of that nature that, um, to maybe go get a paternity testing. I think they're about to meet with the psychic or come across the psychic or um, view a psychic's reading or a psychic something something, whether they meet with the psychic in person or they um, come across them on an online public platform like me. And it's about to give them and um, confirm their confirmations, their intuitive confirmation or intuitive spike. And it's about to... Um, and um, prompt them or motivate them to go get this paternity testing. And once they go get the paternity testing and they learn they're not the father, they're going to show appreciation through the to the feminine psychic. Is what I heard. So appreciation. Now, however, they come across her. I mean, it, I feel for a lot of these people, it's going to be an online public platform. But for some, it could be um, an a meeting session, face-to-face -face meeting session. However that resonates and applies. That's really beautiful. It really is. Let me see if I hear anything else. It is about to give these... Younger masculine energies, huge legs up, huge. It is about to give these younger masculine energies, huge legs up, huge. So them getting the paternity testing done and learning they're not the father, it's about to give them huge legs up, huge. Um, I think that's why they're going to show their appreciation to this fem psychic. So I, somehow she's involved with this, but um, I think it's because they either watch her on an online public platform like me, or they're going to pay for a reading or a session with her, an in-person session. And they're, and she's going to say something about a child not being theirs. Um, and it's going to prompt them to get a paternity testing is what I feel. But you plug it in however it resonates, if it resonates and applies, okay? Okay, we're done. All right, I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.